We're talking to Lake County Sheriff John Bunsich, who's just elected as the head of the Democratic Party in Lake County. Um, well, let's get, get on some sheriff's topics here. We, this big holiday weekend, fireworks. Is this going to be a big problem for you? Right, all the time. Uh, we, especially during the 4th of July, we get a lot of calls. Uh, and unfortunately, a lot of the calls are, are for injuries that uh, occur as a result of uh, the careless use of fireworks. So we're encouraging the public to, uh, you know, if you don't know what you're doing with the fireworks, you leave it to the professionals. You know, you can b virtually buy anything right now, uh, high explosives uh, at these uh, fireworks stands. And, uh, you know, keep them away from the children. Uh, if there are children around, keep an eye on them, make sure that uh, uh, adult supervision. Do you think, and there's always this consternation between Illinois and Indiana where the laws are very different on the Illinois side, do you think Indiana has gone too far that they, they should look at scaling back? I most certainly do. I think uh, when you see some of the fireworks that we have been confiscating and some that resulted in injuries, uh, I mean, there, there has to be, I, I believe, some limit to uh, 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 to what they're they're selling out there freely on the, in some of these stands. Um, the, they just had the change in the criminal code come up. Yes. Um, July first, new rules took effect. Among them, um, an inmate must serve seventy five percent of their time. They had been up to fifty percent of their time. Is that going to have an impact on the Lake County Jail? It most certainly will. Uh, it's going to cause us. Uh, but not immediately, the law just passed, uh, went into effect, but it will affect us probably in the next 45 to 60 days once the sentencing begins by the county, by the county courts here in Lake County. And it's gonna lead to overcrowding again, and our population is going to increase, and uh, we don't have a release valve now because we don't have uh, our work release center any longer. Any longer. So, uh, and don't forget that we're still under a Department of Justice uh, watch mandate. And uh, you know we've been successful since I ta taken office three and a half years ago. That uh, we've kept the population down in the facility, but it's going to increase, and uh, it's again that could jeopardize our our standing with the Department of Justice. So how did that end up happening? Were they just simply not listening to, to county sheriffs? And is this you think a common problem around there that you're going to see an increase in the amount of in, you know, well, this has been in the work. This has been in the works for several years now. Sure. There have been study committees talking about this. But originally, this, but the idea was to try to cut some of these sentences, yeah, yeah. maybe have some of these low-level offenders go into community corrections and like. And in the end, uh, they seem to have increased it, a lot. It, of the penalties. It's increased more of the penalties for the more serious crimes. But then, in the same sense, it's uh, it's all about dollars. They want to save dollars. They see that the uh, Indiana Department of Corrections, uh, the population is just increasing, and the the, uh, the cost of it is skyrocketing. So what they want to do is they want to throw the burden back onto the county sheriffs, to the local uh, counties, uh, government. And, uh, but, but again, who's going to absorb the cost with that? It's going to be absorbed by us here in Lake County. And you're going to have a budget coming up. Do you think you're going to see money for, uh, for community corrections I, coming from the state to, to help I, pay for I really can't. I don't, I don't believe it'll happen. I really okay. don't. There won't be an increase in the budget, so how do we live with it? Increased population means increased food costs increased uh, maintenance costs. Uh, so all these are going to have to be, uh, we'll have to carry the brunt of that. Your work release program, you already mentioned that. That's uh, it's it fallen by the wayside. And, uh, County Council decided not to, uh, to continue funding. What, think, what's happening? And I th well, it's, it's, it's a dead issue right now. I mean, they've taken it away. They've cut the funding. And uh, Where did all of those inmates go? Well, they're, they're back in the, our facility now. And uh, our, our population has increased by about 15% over the last uh, 30 days. So I think that's just uh, uh, something that you're gonna have to look at in the future, uh, things to come. Yeah. So, you know, I did want to talk to you a little more about you know, your role as county chairman and bringing people on, uh, trying to increase interest in the party. Um, why don't you think there's more interest right now? In, do you think there is a declining interest in party politics in well, general? Well, it's indicative uh, of the, the apathy in this most recent election. In some areas, a 9 to 10 percent turnout, that's ridiculous. That shouldn't be that way. Our program is to generate more enthusiasm in the, in the, uh, in the process, the political process. We've got to get some young blood in the party start up the young Democrats again, get these individuals interested and understand that, hey, who you elect means a lot for you, your future. So these are the things that we're going to do. We're going to work with special interest group, uh, teachers, uh, labor unions, those uh, 
the uh, medical community. We're going we're gonna to just reach out to everybody we possibly can. Yeah. So you think you can generate the kind of enthusiasm that maybe we saw 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Well, that's exactly what we want to do. I mean, there were times when we generated, again, the plurality in votes for the statewide candidates here in Lake County, 60 to 65,000 votes. We can do that. We did that when President Obama was elected uh, several years ago for his first term. Uh, we, we're targeting the state of Indiana to make it a blue state again. All right. Well, that's where we're going to leave it. Sheriff John Funsage, thank you so much for being on. Thank you, Steve.